Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for being on my channel. My name is Boom Shaka and I'm so grateful for all the support that you guys have been sending my way. I really, really appreciate it. I, You guys have no idea how much all of the support and messages and comments means to me. It's, I'm just overwhelmed by like, how much you guys are enjoying my videos. I can't believe it actually. Um, so I'm so grateful that you guys are listening. And if you guys have any questions at all or any feedback, please message me anytime. All of my contact information is in the description below, um, so you can get a hold of me that way. In this video, I want to speak to you guys about how INFJs will do anything to avoid the people that they dislike, or avoid people in general, obviously, but if you, if I don't like you, I will do anything in my life, in my power, to avoid you completely. I completely, I cannot deal with people that I dislike. Now, there's very few people that I completely dislike because most people I just don't even care about. I'm indifferent to them. They're there. They're just like furniture to me, right? God, is that a terrible thing to say? Anyways, they are literally like furniture. I don't even notice them. It's like, do you notice a chair when you walk past it? No, it's just a chair. And so that's how it, most people are like for me. Not because I hate them or because I despise them or because they don't mean anything to me. It's just, I can't care about everyone on this planet. It's not, how am I going to live my life if I did that? So... Mostly, I try to avoid thinking about most people, and most people will fall into the category of furniture. They're just there, they occupy space, uh, I don't think about them, I'm indifferent to them, they don't matter to me, and I probably don't matter to them, right? So they're just there, it doesn't matter to me. But there's some people that, because of something they did, I dislike them with a passion. Now, because when we do something, we do it with a big passion. When we like someone, we do it with great passion. When we hate someone, we do it with great passion as well, right? And so, for example, there is this person where I'm living right now, and she is absolutely horrendous to customer to uh, servers. There are a lot of we. I work in a restaurant as well, partly. The resort has a restaurant, and so I'm there, you know, making sure all the servers are doing their thing, and I'm making sure that everyone's happy. And the servers are amazing. They're Thai, and they're they're just so sweet. They're they're always smiling, and do the, they do the best they can. They're just really good people at heart. Okay, just really good people, and I really love them to death. But this person, she is horrendous to them. She is, she treats them like slaves, basically. She, they're basically there to do all the work that she wants done. So she won't even lift a finger to do anything. They will do all this work for them. And because they're nice people, they'll just do it, right? It really annoys the hell out of me. And so she is someone I hate. I despise her. I hate her. I can't even stand the voice, uh, her voice. I can't even stand her, the way she speaks. Uh, the minute she comes into my vicinity, the minute I notice she's there, Literally, I get goosebumps and the hair on my, if I have hair on my hand, this, it stands out. I literally get a tingling feeling all over. My heart starts beating really fast. I get really angry all of a sudden. I get really, really upset that she's around me and I really instantaneously want to get out of there. Now, thankfully, I don't work with her. Phew, thank God. So I don't have to deal with her all the time. So gratefully, I don't have to talk to her at all. But as soon as she comes around me, as soon as it happens, I swear to God, I'll pick up all my stuff and I'll leave right away. I'll leave that area right away. I'll leave the restaurant. I'll Even if I'm not done eating, I'll leave. Even if I'm not done all my work, I'll leave until she's gone. I just cannot stand to be around people that I dislike. I cannot stand it. I avoid them completely. Now, I avoid people in general. And you know, you guys know that. We are INFJs. We avoid people in general because we just have very limited time, energy, space to give to these people. And most people are just... Suck. energy sucks they just want to take energy take 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 they don't give anything back and as soon as I get in I realize that there's a person around me who's a taker and not a giver I instantaneously do not give to them I have this thing I have this absolute rule in my head that if you're just a taker I am not giving anything to you you're not gonna get anything from me for example recently I met up with this person and now even just the thought of her makes me really really angry but I'm gonna talk about it so she came up to me and she's like, oh, I've heard about you. So you, you seem like a nice person. Let's hang out. And as soon as someone says that to me, as soon as they're really chirpy and, and nice, just from the get-go, from just things that they've heard about me, I think to myself, what kind of a person are you? You just base your assumptions or you base your relationships or friendship on things you've heard. Make your own judgment for God's sake. Okay, I know, I'm crazy. But so I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And so we had breakfast together and... It was all about her, right? I'm not saying that I want the conversation to be about me, but I want it to be about something. About maybe we, let's talk about you know the amount of plastic in this world, or let's talk about cicadas. You know, I'd rather talk about them more than about you. 
but the whole conversation was about her. And as soon as she felt that the conversation was kind of veering away from her, she would do something to kind of bring the conversation back to her. Now, she did something really interesting. I was, I was actually really fascinated by it. She pretended like she lost her phone all of a sudden. It was in her hand, and she was, she had it in her hand. And all of a sudden, she's like, oh my god, oh my god, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I can't find my phone. I think I lost my phone. And I'm thinking to myself, it's in your hand? And at that point, I was talking about something completely different, which was not about her. And I realized, hmm, I see. So as soon as I start, start talking about something different, you're just instantly going to bring it back to yourself. I, okay, I get it. Now, maybe I'm being a little too harsh. Maybe I'm seeing things that are not there, really there. But I know I can never be friends with this person, right? And so now what I do is I avoid that person completely. I'm not doing this because I hate her. I'm doing this because I don't want her to feel my, my wrath. I don't want her to feel my rage. I don't want her to feel what I feel for her because I want her to be happy and I want her to believe everyone loves her and I want her to be joyful. You know? I don't want her to realize that there are people on this planet who think she's a complete waste of space, right? Wow, that was really harsh. But yeah, that that's exactly... I don't want her... I don't want my INFJ directness and honesty to come across to her and to her, make her feel terrible. I don't want that. I want people to be to feel good. I want them to do their own thing away from me, right? And so I avoid her completely. And that's totally fine with me. I don't need her in my life. And she absolutely does not need me in her life, obviously. She's doing fine. She was doing fine before me. And she's going to do fine after me. But I do avoid her completely. Because I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with her energy. I don't want to deal with her conversations. They bore me to death. I don't want to deal with her energy because it's very sucky. Like it takes a lot from me. And I don't want to, I don't, I'm not giving to her at all. There's no way in hell my beautiful energy is going towards a person like that. No way in hell. Yes, I do get angry about this stuff. Um, and I, I just, I don't want anything, I, I just don't want any interaction with people like that. I just don't. I, I really don't need it. She doesn't need me. I, I just feel like it's a waste of time for both ends. It's a waste of time absolutely for me. And if I'm not going to give her what she wants, then it's a waste of time for her. She wants someone who's going to cater to her needs. And I'm not going to be that person. So why am I wasting her time? She should go and look for someone else who's going to cater to her needs, right? Right? And I am going to go look for someone else who can just be far away from me. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm a really, really horrible person. I do know that I'm a horrible person. I really do know that. Like, you guys don't need to tell me. I understand. So this is what I think of when I meet a new person, is that how much do I need to avoid this person? And if I need to really avoid this person a lot, then I'll just completely, completely not even start up a relationship with them. So for example, recently, actually yesterday, I met up this person... Well, this person came up to a table that I was sitting at. I was sitting with a couple, a couple of other people, and we were just having a conversation. And this person came up and started being syrupy. You know what's, what I mean by syrupy? It's just like so fake and uh, just so too much. She was just being too much. Oh, my God. I'm, all, ah. I'm thinking to myself, oh, my God. I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, there's a reason why I have very few friends. So... She came in, she's doing all this syrupy act. I'm sure it wasn't an act. I'm sure she's like that normally. And I'm sure she's a great person. No, I'm, I'm sure she's a very nice person, right? But of course, I don't want to be friends with her, right? I, I just don't. I can't deal with that per kind of personality. It's, it's just too much. I just, it's depleting to me. I, I get tired being around that kind of energy. I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't. I don't. And I don't need to deal with her, right? So I completely avoided the conversation. I looked away. I was doing my own thing. I was focusing on my food. I, had like wisers on, I wasn't looking at her. I did not want to be introduced to this person and I don't want to be friends with her. We can be colleagues if necessary. We can have a random acquaintance. We talk maybe once a month. We say hello when we pass by. That's totally fine with me. But I am not going to get into a relationship or friendship with this human being because I cannot stand to be around her for even a second. There is no way that I'm giving again my energy to this person or my time to this person. Oh my God, my precious time. There is no way in hell I'm doing that, right? Now, perhaps you guys think I'm being a little too harsh. Maybe, maybe I am, maybe not. But this has worked really well for me to do all the amazing things that I want to do on this planet. I want to do my creative work on this planet. I don't want to waste my energy or time on people I don't care about. I've done that so much in my life. So much of my time has been spent, wasted on people that did not really matter to me, that did not care about me, that don't really matter in the great scheme of things. I wasted my time and energy on these people. No more. I'm not doing that anymore. I don't care. I've wasted so much of my time on people like that. That is it. That is it. I am up to this level with these people. I cannot do it anymore. 
And luckily enough, I live in a world right now that I've created where I can avoid these people completely without any negative consequences to me. I don't have to hang out with them. I don't have to talk to them. I don't have to be with them. I can just completely avoid them and I can live my life as sacredly and as perfectly as I want to. And they don't need me. I don't need them. It works out perfectly well. Right? The reason I share this with you guys is that if you're doing exactly the same way, if you're living the exactly the same way and you feel terrible about it, don't. Don't feel terrible about it. You know how limited our time on this planet is? Do you know how limited it is? We get barely 70, 80 years. You know how little that is? I mean, I'm 34 already. How much time do I have left? Maybe 20, 30 more years. Maybe if I'm lucky, 40, 50, right? That is nothing, guys. It's going to snap by in an instant and you're going to be sitting there at your deathbed thinking, oh man, I shouldn't have spent all my time with those stupid people. I should have really done the things I really wanted to do and so wasting my time on all these useless things. That's really what I think in my head every single time I'm wasting my time on these people. What will I think on my deathbed? Will I be happy I spent time with these people? Or will I be happy I did all the amazing projects that I want to do? The latter, obviously, right? The latter is what I really care about. I wouldn't care about all these amazing people, all these annoying people that I hang out with. I, I think it's a waste of time. I think it's a waste of my time. And also it's a waste of their time because wouldn't they rather spend time with someone who really cares about them? Yes. They want to spend time with people that really love them, not like me. I don't love them. I actually despise them, right? So that is what I think. I actually think of it as doing a favor to them, right? I think of it that I'm doing a good deed. I'm actually helping them out. And so that's what I think. And I want you guys to think exactly the same way. You're not doing anything wrong. You're actually helping them out and you're helping yourself out. Win-win is what we call it. Win-win situation for all involved. <laughs> Again, I hope this makes sense to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being on my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much I love you guys. And I'm so grateful that you guys are learning from me and growing with, with me and learning with me. I hope that you guys have an amazing day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.